Hey Scorpios, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome to the channel if you're new and if you're one of my awesome subscribers, I'm so grateful for you, thank you. And if you're not, go ahead, hit the button. It's free, it's just below the video and you can get your energy moving throughout the channel. Let's see what we got for Scorpios, please spirit. Ooh, you wanna come out. Separation, but in reverse. So you could be coming out of separation with somebody. Maybe you just haven't even been talking much lately. Maybe um, you're in a long distance situation. Uh, maybe you broke up and now somebody's coming back or you're thinking of going back to someone. But let's see what we got in Scorpio's energy, please. And please note these are general messages. They will not resonate for everyone. So just take what does, leave the rest. If none of it does, that's okay. Just leave the messages for the Scorpios that it does resonate for. You can also check out your moon, Venus, and rising placements. Hermit. Mm. Okay. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Mm hmm. Tell me a little bit more here. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I love these readings. It's just like, okay. Yeah, someone's returning to the scene of the crime. Or, well, <laughs> if you committed a crime, Scorps, <laughs> looks like someone needs some more punishment. No, I don't know. But honestly, um, in your energy you've got the hermit so something tells me you may have taken a time out or if there was a breakup you basically decided hey i'm just gonna drop off the face of the earth now of course that sparked a little interest because this person likes to have control over the situation in a sense that they like to know what's going on <laughs> and because you haven't been around um they're wondering about you. They are definitely wondering about you. Uh, perhaps you went through a period of soul searching or self-reflection or spiritual enlightenment. Maybe you found that you needed time alone to gain a deeper understanding of yourself and to remove yourself from the daily grind in order to discover your true spiritual self or to contemplate your existence or the direction you want to take in life or what your values are. Um, maybe you just isolated and you withdrew into yourself in order to recover from a difficult situation um maybe you were just going through an anti-social phase where you just didn't want to interact with people as much <laughs> like i'm just hearing yeah leave me alone so some of you you know you were doing your scorp thing and you just didn't want to deal with it um it does show though that you're coming from a wise mature and knowledgeable place and Maybe even some of you sought out the services of a counselor or a psychiatrist, but basically there's something here in your energy stating that it was a time for you to focus on your own needs. Okay. It was very important, um, for you to do that. Also, if you're single, maybe just represents coming out of the other side of a period of loneliness or solitude that may have been needed to recuperate from past heartbreak or a bad breakup. Um, it speaks of soon being ready to make a fresh start. Maybe even you've just decided to go celibate for a while uh, or maybe indefinitely, right? It's your decision. If you're already in a connection or situationship, it could just represent an older or wiser partner. So you might be the older, wiser partner. Um, it could also su suggest that maybe there was a need to make more of an effort to connect with your partner. Uh, because sometimes it, it, it's just saying that you and your partner are too focused on doing your own things rather than spending quality time together. Um, and the person that you're dealing with is the Queen of Swords, okay? So, as I was saying, the Queen of Swords is somebody who is generally represented by one of the air signs. So that could be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Uh, I'm getting this feeling that 
some of you, I don't know why, but it's like, maybe you were dealing with somebody who communicated something to you. Maybe they communicated that they were feeling lonely and if they haven't done, like that they've missed you, they haven't seen enough of you lately, they wanna see more of you lately or, or in the future, and maybe you're just trying to consider at this point in time whether or not you want to do that. I feel like this person is going to call you out. <laughs> it's one of those, come forward so that I can hear what you have to say for yourself. Um, and actually, yeah, strong Virgo energy here too, or Aries, right? Aries energy too. But this is usually somebody who's sophisticated, highly intelligent, mature woman, somebody who's strong-willed, uh, very disciplined, and doesn't have to be a woman, could be just uh, female, heavy female energy, feminine energy. Um, and this is somebody who has impeccable high standards and demands the same of their partner. They're usually quite professional, ambitious, totally driven, drawn to intelligent minds and stimulating conversation. They have um, excellent, excellent minds and communication skills. So this is one of those people that you kind of need to match in that regard. They're friendly, they're sociable, but they may come across as a bit standoffish to some or even distant for that matter, okay? Uh, maybe even a little bit cold sometimes. They consult their emotions when making decisions about their choice of a partner or issues within a relationship, but never lets their heart totally rule. This is someone who likes to make logical and sensible decisions. Uh, they take relationships very seriously, but may not appear loving and attentive. And that's just their way. And she also doesn't suffer fools easily. So this queen could suggest that you either are finding it difficult to meet somebody if you were single or you're going to be meeting somebody if you're single who could be separated divorced or widowed in a traditional sense but they could even be a little bit of a spinster <laughs> this is somebody who has definitely endured some painful experiences in their past but rarely talks about them uh, they're very private but will listen closely to whatever you tell them um, but this type of person also suggests cautiousness and, and, and wariness. Like people are drawn to this individual, but when they get too close, she can feel uncomfortable or that their personal space has been invaded. Maybe this is just you again, right? Uh, they can put up automatic walls or barriers which block intimate involvement because they like their personal freedom and their own company. And they can also withdraw from a relationship rather rapidly when their interest wanes. And sometimes they may even prefer to stay single. So that's what that card is basically saying that you might be dealing with. And the issue though is coming out of the separation as we were talking about. And what you don't see is that there's a decision being made here. And it's the two of wands. Interestingly, um, this person is trying to make something happen. It's like she, this person doesn't really know, or maybe you don't really know what you want. Maybe you haven't even realized that at this point in time, but I think it's this individual who doesn't really know what they want. They're not really sure about the, the relationships, but they've also got doubts about staying or going. It's not that there's anything really wrong, but maybe the fire may have diminished or maybe they felt trapped or restricted in some way, or maybe they wanted to rush into the connection but circumstances may have held them back, or perhaps they're hankering for somebody who lives far away. It's possible, but there's also big decisions here too. It could signify coming out of separation in terms of um, maybe relocating for someone. So maybe somebody's gonna be relocating for you if you're in a long distance relationship. Um, it could all also mean that there's a sudden departure of a partner. 
but I don't see that because this is coming out of separation. So coming back together and I feel like this person has made the decision that that's what they're going to do. So the, the advice here is to take charge of the situation. Okay. So whether that be you or them, somebody needs to take charge. Somebody needs to act here, which would make sense of, on this planning phase. And I do believe that somebody will be acting and they're going to be coming back because you have the eight of cups in reverse. So they're returning back to this emotional situation. It's their emotions that are driving them. Um, and if they felt abandoned, they might come back and they might challenge you and say, where have you been? Why haven't you been talking to me? Where did you go hide out? What have you been up to? Who have you been talking to? You know, they could be quite rigid. Uh, but the reason is, is they want some stability. Okay. They want some stability in this connection, or perhaps you're the one that will end up wanting some stability and you might have some words to say to this individual, but basically I feel that the foundation was just somebody didn't know what they wanted let me just uh get a clarification for that two of wands please of what wasn't seen or said there it is preparation still preparation to expand and again i'm getting a long distance feeling here quite a long distance feeling so i feel like some of you are going to be uniting with the person that you love and coming together uh, to live together, establishing a home, establishing a way of being. But yeah, this, this person is preparing to take action to talk to you. Yeah, to talk to you about where you've been because angel of abundance and nurturing, loving, kind energy is just, it's not here, but they still love you. Okay, so that's for those of you that are um, in separation if you broke up. They still love you, but they weren't feeling enough love from you because they feel like you disappeared. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Comfort. Yeah, there we go. This person is wondering if you're doing better without them around. <laughs> because uh, the Nine of Pentacles is about doing very well on one's own, you know, being successful. There's quite a lot of an independent streak here. So both of you may even have an avoidant attachment style. But basically... The outcome here is that, well, possible outcome because everybody has free will based on this decision here and based on this person coming back to talk to you, you're, you'll have a decision to make as to whether you want to move forward with this connection or not or get back together or you'll have someone coming in and you'll have to make a decision about whether this is somebody you'd like to pursue a relationship with or if you want to stay single. So that's what I see happening. I'm going to get you some a message from spirit to close this out ask there we go ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf we're governed by many universal laws and among them is free will wasn't i saying that that allows you to make your own choices and decisions so we patiently await your request so maybe, you know, whether it's you, the cross watcher, or both who don't know what they want, ask for some guidance and then sit back, be very quiet, quiet your mind and let it come to you. The answer will come what the best solution is here, whether you get back involved with somebody, whether you do get involved with somebody or whether you choose to stay single. All right. All right, Scorps, that's what I got for you. I'm sending you so much love and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you soon. Bye.